Okay, in this video we're going to use auxiliary angles or harmonic uh, angles to uh, find maximum minimum of certain function trig functions. So if you go back in your notes earlier on, it's, it mentions how we're going to do this, but it's easier just to really to look through, follow through uh, what's going on in this video. So it says find the maximum value of the function cos theta plus two sine theta and the smallest possible value, positive value of theta, which gives this maximum value. Okay, first thing we're going to do is just say let our uh, trig expression cos theta plus two sine theta equal r cos theta minus alpha. So we're going to expand that right hand side. It's going to give you r cos theta uh, cos alpha plus r sine theta sine alpha. Okay, so we've got to equate, I'm going to equate the coefficients of cos theta. And I'm going to get 1 is equal to r cos alpha and equate the coefficients of sine theta and I'm going to get 2 is equal to r sine alpha. So dividing you're going to get tan theta, tan alpha sorry is a sine divided by the cos so it's going to be 2 over 1 we'll just write it as and a wee bit of work on working out then alpha is equal to tan of minus 1 of 2 alpha works out to be 63.4 degrees. <clears throat> Likewise, your r is going to be equal to 1 squared plus 2 squared and the square root of all that, which is root 5. And again, as I've said in the previous one examples, don't be abbreviating it, or sorry, changing, giving it into decimal places. It's nicer to have it as uh, root 5. Okay, right. What we have, have said then, our function, our function is root 5 times and it was cos and it was theta minus 63.4 degrees the maximum value is okay right what is the maximum value of cos the maximum value of cos is one likewise a minimum value of cos is minus one so the maximum value of this thing is root five times cos is maximum value so root five times one the maximum value is root 5. Okay, and this happens when, oh, pen's gone mad. This happens, this happens when cos of theta minus 8.4 degrees is equal to 1. Okay, now this is where your previous prior knowledge of trig functions is important. What what value of of uh, what angle gives cos is equal to one and it is zero. So that i.e. that's when theta minus sixty three point four degrees is equal to zero, which means theta is equal to sixty three point four degrees. So let's summarize what we find here. We find the maximum value. We find the maximum value was root five, and that happened when theta was equal to 63.4. Okay, in this example it says express 3 cos theta plus 4 sine theta in the form r cos theta minus alpha. So we'll get that started first of all and then it says hence state the maximum minimum values of but we'll just get started doing it uh, in r cos theta minus alpha form. So write the expression down it was 3 cos theta plus 4 sine theta and let it be equal to r cos of theta minus alpha, which is equal to r cos theta cos alpha plus r sine theta sine alpha. Okay, so here uh, we'll just say we're doing equating the cos theta, so 3 is equal to r cos alpha. And we'll do our sine theta. So equate the coefficients of the sine theta. So 4 is equal to r sine alpha, which means tan of alpha is 4 over 3. And then shift and tan, and you're going to get your alpha. Alpha is equal to 53.4 degrees. Okay. Also in this, you're going to have your r is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared. And the square root of this one you should know already. That's going to be uh, 3 squared plus 4 squared is uh, going to be 25. Square root of 25 is going to be 5. 
you should know that from Pythagoras, your Pythagoras 3, 4, 5 triangle, Pythagorean triple. So therefore, your whole expression is 5 upon 5 upon a cos of theta minus 53.1 degrees. Okay, it says find its maximum and minimum values. So we'll just say, so we'll just say the expression. has a maximum maximum value of so the maximum value is going to happen whenever this is equal to one so uh, that is the maximum value is five times one so the maximum value of five and that happens when cos of theta minus 53.1 is equal to one i.e theta minus 53 Point one is equal to zero degrees, i.e. theta is equal to fifty-three point one degrees. Okay, uh, we also have to do the minimum. So, expression has minimum of minus five, and that happens when your cos of theta minus fifty-three point one is equal to minus one and that happens when i.e. when theta minus 53.1 is equal to 180 degrees which means theta is equal to 180 plus 53.1 which is going to be 233.1 degrees Okay, part B of the question that allows you to find the maximum and minimum values of this expression and the values of theta when they occur. So first of all, notice that 3 cos theta plus 4 sine theta, that's what you did in part A. So we're going to rewrite this whole thing as 2 over, you still have the 10 on, on the denominator, but then it's 10 plus 5 upon, and it's going to be cos of theta minus 53.1. Okay, right wee bit of explanation here so the maximum value of this is equal to so the maximum value of a fraction a fraction is maximum whenever the denominator is minimum so you want this thing this denominator to be as small as possible so the smallest this denominator could be is 10 plus 5 upon and the smallest value of this bit is minus 1 so 10 plus 5 upon minus 1 so it's going to be just 10 minus 5 or 5 in the bottom line so that, that is a maximum. So that happens when the cos of theta minus 53.1 is equal to minus 1, i.e., and we've sort of done this earlier on, that's theta minus 53.1 is 180 degrees, i.e., theta is equal to 233.1 degrees. Okay, same idea for the minimum, it's a reverse. So the minimum value is going to be equal to 2 over something and it's whenever so the for a fraction the minimum value is when the bottom line is as big as possible so the biggest this can be is, is positive 1 5 times positive 1 then plus 10 so 10 plus 5 is going to be 15 on the bottom line and again that happens when your cos of theta minus 53.1 is equal to positive 1 which happens when Theta minus 53.1 is equal to 0, so theta is equal to 53.1 degrees. Okay, you are now ready to do your last exercise of this topic, so it's topic 5. We're on the trig B section, and it's exercise, oops, exercise 5.